I'm really disappointed in the president and the Department of Justice and the fact that they're not going to defend a law the Congress passed overwhelmingly. I'd be very surprised if the House didn't decide that they were going to defend uh, the law. It strikes me as something that's just as raw politics as anything I've seen. Uh, knowing that uh, uh, a lot of people who believe in DOMA are probably not likely uh, to vote for him and uh, pandering uh, to the other side on this issue. Welcome back to Harbor. That was, of course, House Speaker John Boehner Sunday talking to the Christian Broadcasting Network. Today, he announced that the House will take action to defend the Defense of Marriage Act in court to the House of uh, the Office of the House Counsel. In his statement, he said, it's regrettable that the Obama administration has opened this divisive issue at a time when Americans want their leaders to focus on jobs and the challenges facing our economy. The constitutionality of this law should be determined by the courts, not by the president unilaterally. And this action by the House will ensure the matter is addressed in a manner can consistent with our Constitution. Is Speaker Boehner right to call this raw politics by the president? The Huffington Post, Howard Feynman is an MSNBC political analyst, and R. Clark Cooper is with, well, he's executive director of the Law Academy Republicans. Gentlemen, thank you. Howard, sometimes in Clark, I get the feeling that Boehner does things almost the way the Queen in England has to, has to read statements issued by the party in power. Like, does he really want to do what he's doing? Clark, do you think he really wants this role he's playing right now? Would he like to just let this thing it's ride a tough away role. to the sunset? The Speaker has a tough a fight to keep DOMA, to keep Defense of Marriage Act, when the country seems vaguely bored with the issue. Well, he wants to focus on the mandate that the voters sent in 2010, which is pay attention to the budget, reduce government spending, reduce the size of government. Those so are the priority issues. So why is he doing issues. this? Well, why is he creating this, using this bipartisan council to get the council, the House, to bring this case in court? Well, it's a nonpartisan. The, the, the House General Council is a nonpartisan entity, and this is where it's, it's going to be Democrats, housed. Democrats, though. But it's a bipartisan commission, I, I and this is so a speaker's way. So he's hiding a little bit. The issue. No, he's not hiding. He's bringing balance to it and bringing the focus back to the mandate that the voters wanted in 2010. The speaker so is trying really to avoid are, a you're not just a You're not just a leader of the game uh, for liberation movement. You really are as a Republican, too, aren't you? Well, I'm a really Republican, but I want every to get rid time of I, keep for, I keep forgetting that you are an R. We are an R. That's I know, the R I, and R I, I know, is. I know, but you think he's okay on this. This is, this is, it's much better than where it could be. I want to see Domo repealed. I would love to see it repealed legislatively. Well, why are you fact, back? Why are you defending the speaker on this? Then? The speaker is doing the right thing for right now. This is this was not political courage by President Obama. This is political calculus. He threw this in the mix See, you, to try you, the, to, he to defend, stir the pot. You, you push the cause of, of, of gay rights and same-sex marriage and all these issues. At the same time, you do this little clip of any Democrat involved. Ever not in, no. Uh, but I'll tell you right now, this 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 is gamesmanship on the president's so part. Are we, this is, you, this is, is the this president is, right not to fight uh, the constitutionality of DOMA are wrong? Right or wrong? Well, let me, let me raise no, this. No, no, the, let me why, ask you this question. Don't, ask, don't tell Can being fought by the yeah. But I ask this question, is the president right or wrong to not fight for the constitutionality of DOMA? He, he, right or wrong, sir? Right or Answer wrong? the question. President Obama is abdicating his duty. Is he right or wrong in not fighting for the constitutionality of DOMA? Right or wrong? If he's Answer not going to fight this, why is he fighting Don't okay, Ask, Don't see, Tell? There we go. This is, this is the problem with the log cabin guys. <laughs> You're half Republican, half gay liberation guys. Which is it? You can't answer the question. We're gays who have, we, we, we're Republicans who happen to be gay. Right. We're, but we're, I'm asking you politically, that's not about, I'm not about sure. human constitution here. I'm asking you, where do you stand on whether the president was right or wrong on not fighting for the constitutionality of DOMA? Right or wrong? Where's his position on this? I'm, he's, 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 he's not doing it. He's not doing it. Is that right or wrong? It's wrong that he's not doing. He he he's not taking a, a solid win. stance I on this. Just earned a, your comment has earned a wins from my colleague. <laughs> yeah. You're now trying to discern this guy's. But the log cabin Rep Republicans we believe like the Republicans the are always right. No. They also, well, you Hold believe on. the speaker's right. Hold on. What the speaker did was he looked at he looked at the terrain and he noticed the terrain was the president playing gamesmanship at a time to steer away focus on the economy, to take away focus on the budget, and to throw this hot potato into the mix which is what he did. It was political calculus. It wasn't courage. Okay. What would be courageous is if the president stood up and said, you know, I would like to see Doma repealed. I support marriage equality. Uh, we're we're going to non-pursuit uh, on the court cases. And oh, by the way, we're not, we're going to okay. suspend your assessment? Don't ask on time. Right. Well, it is true that the president didn't go all the way because he's just said, we're not going to defend it in these particular cases. Okay. And this is the Doma, it's, section three, which says the federal government doesn't recognize same-sex right. marriage. And right. that's at issue in cases 
in Connecticut. I think that's the one that the White House would say prompted them to say what they said. It wasn't just politics. They had a, they had a legal thing to decide. But if you talk to gay rights activists who I guess are not Republicans, like Winnie Stackelberg, who's one of the leading gay activists uh, in the country, she, her interpretation is that Boehner sort of took the least line of resistance here. It's interesting to hear her talk about it. Because her reaction... You mean he was acting like a hot potato, too? Yes. You're accusing the president. Yes. The, 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 yes. The, because when this decision by the president not to, not to fight for the law came out a couple days ago, there was thundering silence from the Republican leadership, I think it's fair to say. Would DOMA pass yeah, again they say this nothing. Republican crowd now they're back in again? Would they pass Defense and Marriage Act, the current Congress, right now? I would say if they... Uh, no. But this is looking at... Uh, I'm obviously biased because I want to see DOMA repealed. Right. I think it's inappropriate. It's an incursion on states' rights, an incursion on individual liberty. Uh, fellow Bush alumni, uh, Ted Olson, who is our lead advocate of the courts on this, who's arguing against DOMA in some of these cases that He's are... against are, the whole idea of, of denial of, of correct. Equal, equality of uh, Correct. So we have more pro-equality or self-identified pro-equality okay. Republicans in Congress now than L we let's did... Let's bottom line, uh, this is Friday night. Where's yeah. this going to end up? It seems like the president doesn't want to defend the Constitution out of the bill. You think Congress would be unlikely to take the initiative to do it again right now. So there's a lack of heart to now do, to really fight same-sex marriage in this country. It seems like it's almost catching up to, not quite, catching up to the idea of open service. Yeah. It's not quite there yet, right? It's That's related. why it's murky. It, it's really, there were those two trends are related, by the way. I think Winnie, to, to quote her again, says oh, the, Supreme, the Supreme Court's going to deal with us one way or the other. That's number one. She said what the president did, she called historic, even though admittedly it didn't go as far as it could have. And from her point of view, it was historic. It's clear to me that the Republican leadership would rather stay away from this thing altogether yeah. because they do want to focus on other things. And then they know that as the Republican presidential campaign starts, all the Republican contenders are going to want to go out there and, and play to the crowd that is yeah, obsessed well, with this Kalani's issue. already doing that. Right. Kalani's Kalani's doing it. Kalani's doing it. Here's what I think That's it's not suburban, what the House leadership suburban wants. Suburban women. Well, Mitch Daniels suburban is saying women, stay away, stay you know, away Suburban women them. tend to be Republican yeah. because of tax considerations, but on issues of social issues like this, they are very much against this gay bashing. They are very much for open service. They are very much for right. same-sex. The they don't like Republicans being anti-gay. The key now is that polls show that among independent voters, it's a, it's a, it's a closely divided okay. issue, and it's not one that and more I than two-thirds of primary uh, GOP voters would like to stay focused on the economy. I like the way you confuse me, <laughs> Clark. You got a tough job. He's got to be a Republican. He's got to be for gay rights in a party that not isn't really exactly for gay rights. Anyway, thank you, Howard Feynman. Look at the look I'm getting, Howard. Have a nice weekend, <laughs> Howard Feynman. Our Clark Cooper, the of the uh, I like how Republicans.